Hello everybody and welcome to a very exciting day on the Turbo Mix Games YouTube channel because today I'm going to be announcing all sorts of exciting things for this channel as well as the community of data oriented developers. Now I'm going to be going into detail on all these changes throughout the course of this video. However, if you don't want to sit through the whole thing, I will just go ahead and summarize all the main points at the beginning of this video. But before I do that, I think it would be important to talk a little bit about why I'm going to be making these changes. Now, if you can believe it, I started making videos on Unity Dots four years ago in January of 2020. And since then, I've made over 100 videos and tutorials on things related to Unity's data-oriented technology stack and their entity component system. And throughout all this time, I've just really come to enjoy approaching solving problems using a data-oriented or performance-aware mindset. Now, although it has been four years, I feel like in many ways, I'm still just getting started. There's still so many things for me to learn and experiment with and share with the community. And there's a bunch of projects that I still would like to go into a little bit more detail with with everybody. Needless to say, there's just so many things to talk about, which is why today I'm gonna to be announcing a new weekly live show that I'm gonna be hosting with a couple of my friends called The Hot Path Show, which is focused on showcasing different ways to approach solving problems using a data-oriented design. Now, we'll get into some more details on the live show later, but I think doing a live show is really going to lend itself well to do more community-focused events, so we're gonna be starting some competitions and game jams as we really get things going here. I've also made some changes in the Turbo Mix Games Discord community to be a much more helpful resource for people who are learning data-oriented design. I should also point out that I still will continue to make regular videos on the Turbo Mix Games YouTube channel. They might not be as frequent because I am doing that weekly live show. However, the videos that I do put up, I do intend to make them higher quality and much more in depth. And with that, I'm going to be launching a new way that you can support the Turbo Mace Games YouTube channel and the Hot Path show through Patreon. While the live show and any source code that we showcase on the show, as well as any of the community events are going to be open to everybody, we are going to have some really exciting bonuses for people who do choose to support us on Patreon. And we'd be incredibly grateful for any amount of support that you're able to give over on Patreon. And in fact, for just $1 a month, you get access to to an exclusive monthly bonus video. The first bonus video is up right now, and it's actually the talk that I did at the 2023 Game Dev Guild conference called Modular Data Oriented Design. I'm extremely proud of that video, and I think you'll enjoy it very much if you haven't seen it already. So I know that was kind of a lot at once, so let me go ahead and go into detail on some more of these exciting new things. So the main thing is the new show, which is the Hot Path Show. Again, this is going to be a weekly live show that's gonna air right here on the Turbo Mix Games YouTube channel. We're going to be airing these uh, every week on Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And it's going to be myself joined by either one or both of my co-hosts, Danny and Tobias. You'll hear from them in a little bit here. And the first episode is going to air this Friday, January 26th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And it's going to be myself joined by Danny. And we're going to be talking about some really cool topics. The main portion of the show is going to be focused on showcasing different ways that we can solve problems using data-oriented design. One of the common occurrences in game development is there's so many ways that you can approach different problems. So we want to talk a little bit more in depth about some of the interesting ways that we've solved different problems using data-oriented design, and we can have some little discussions about why we chose one implementation over another. And of course, because it is a live show, we are going to have a live questions and answer after this main portion of the show. However, the show is going to consist of a bunch of other fun segments. So this is going to be where we'll talk about things like changes to the Unity Dots API, maybe go into some interesting forum post because there are a lot of people solving cool problems and sharing them on the forums and even just talking about games made with data oriented design. Now at least to start this show is going to be primarily focused around Unity Dots and ECS because that's what myself and my co-hosts are most familiar with and that's what we use on a daily basis. However we are just kind of fans of data oriented design in general so over time we want to start to incorporate more approaches to data oriented design in using different languages maybe like a little bit of C, Rust, Zig, Odin, J-A-I, you know, all sorts of cool options for us. So anyways, speaking of my co-hosts, let me go ahead and introduce you to my first co-host, which is Daniel Anderson. You may have seen him on the Turbo Mix Games YouTube channel before. I've done an interview with him on here. Now he actually is a software engineer who works at Unity on Unity's data or into technology stack. Now, obviously he's not gonna be able to give us any insight into uh, any future plans or unannounced features, but he will give us some deep technical insight into the publicly available things. And so with that, let me just pass it over to Danny for a quick introduction onto who he is. Hi, I'm Danny. You might have seen me in some of Johnny's other videos. Yeah, I generally love data-oriented design and it also happens to be my day-to-day -day work. 
I do all these like fun little side projects. I really love uh, teaching it to others. I've done workshops. Something I rarely get to do is uh, really explain some of the like simple scripts I've made. And it also happens to collide a lot with the questions I've seen around the like Unity Dutch community. Um, so I'm excited to share some of these things with you all and bring that perspective into this. And just generally also talk data on the design, you know, it's a big topic. Like there, there's not a lot of resources on it, uh, but there's a lot of different opinions on what it means to be data oriented. I mean, certainly Unity Dots is not the only way. Um, and maybe we might get to that at some point. It, it, it's going to be a good communication channel to like really discuss, like how would you solve this in a more data oriented way? What are our own personal opinion about what does it mean to be data oriented? It's going to be a good chance for us all to like really, you know, align and like see, see the many ways we can solve specific problems and like really get some concrete cases as well. And I'm excited to take this journey with you all. See you around. Then my other co-host is going to be Tobias Johansson. You may have also seen him a couple times on the Turbo Mace Games YouTube channel doing a live stream interview with him. He is a very experienced video game developer who's currently working on his debut indie title called Just Read the Instructions, which is built using Unity's data-oriented technology stack, their high-definition render pipeline, and it's all built on a custom network stack that he created. And so with that, let me just pass it over to Tobias for a quick introduction. Hello, my name is Tobias. I will be joining for the new Dots content coming soon. You might have seen me earlier on this channel. I've been doing uh, two live streams with Johnny about Dots. Uh, my background is about 11 years of professional game programming and seven of them at a company called Stunlock Studios where I worked on a game called Batrite mostly. Um, now I do my own uh, studio and game, uh, first person shooter co-op probably in Dots. And um, yeah, looking forward to sharing a lot of how that works and sharing real world production code and all of that stuff. And like, this is how w I've done it and uh, maybe uh, inspire you and get inspired and all that good stuff. So yeah, looking forward to it. Now, Danny and Tobias are both super great guys who are very passionate about data-oriented design. And I knew these guys were the right guys for the job because every time I talk to them, I feel like we just end up talking for hours on end about all sorts of cool technical topics. So I thought it would be a great idea to kind of share this with a wider audience with everybody uh, on YouTube. And I think you are going to really enjoy a lot of these conversations that we have over time. So once again, very excited to have both Danny and Tobias on board for the new Hot Path show. So now just kind of talking a little bit more about the community again because we're doing kind of a live show it's going to be a much more community focused thing where we have people you know interacting and, and saying things live in chat and of course doing some live q a as we go into some of these different topics and i think doing something like this is just going to really lend itself well to do more community focused events so i want to start doing you know some friendly competitions where we you know try to make the you know best performing something using a certain data oriented technology or of course even doing some game jams and high highlighting some of the cool things that the community is making as well. And of course, I definitely do just want to say that you do not need to be an expert or even have any like really crazy in-depth familiarity with uh, data-oriented design or Unity Dots or ECS or anything like that to follow along with the live show and some of these community events that we're doing. You know, the whole idea for this is to kind of, you know, teach people and kind of bring these topics more to light. And, you know, while we may be going into depth on certain technical topics, I think it's still a good idea to, you know, if you are interested in learning data or to design at some point, just to kind of listen to the things that we're saying. And then you'll start to kind of just, you know, pick up on some of the main terminology and main concepts over time. So even if you aren't like actively using data or to design every single day, you know, you just pick up a little bit of things here and there and you find some ways that you can implement it into your projects over time. And like I mentioned earlier, I've made some changes to our Discord community. I think it's going to be a much more helpful resource for people in the community who, um, you know, are using data or to design. So I've gone ahead and archived some of the threads that I felt were a little bit redundant and changed the naming on a couple of them. I've also added in a help forum section. So now it's going to be easier where if you have like an issue, you can create like a forum thread that um, you know people can kind of go into and, and help solve your issue. I also have a bot set up so you can subscribe to different like ping roles. So when we're doing different things like uh, maybe game jams or going live for the Hot Path show, things like that, 
Uh, you can get notified through Discord that way if you want it. And then I also have some exclusive Patreon channels for the certain tiers of Patreons, which I'll be going into in just a moment. But real quick, I do just want to reiterate that I am going to continue releasing regular YouTube videos on the Turbo Max Games YouTube channel, um, although probably not as frequent as, you know, I had maybe at some times in the past. I know I've kind of been doing a little bit of a hiatus while I've been working on uh, a big multiplayer tutorial, which is still coming out by the way. I have probably about 75% of that filmed and then I just gotta do a whole bunch of editing on that because it is going to be a very long tutorial, but that should be coming out sometime in February here. But anyways, let me get back to kind of my content release strategy. Again, we are going to be doing this new weekly live show and that's going to kind of take a place a lot of a lot of the kind of like news style update videos that I was doing where I was maybe like, going into a little bit more detail about some of the changes in the newest newer versions of unity dots or if there were any like major announcements of course i'll be covering all those things in the live show so i think those things will be a little bit more timely through the weekly live show and all that and then as far as like regular tutorial videos go of course i want to continue making tutorial videos but i do want to make them you know a little bit more high quality a little bit more in depth where um, you know they might end up being a little bit longer, but they do a really good and like complete job of showing you how to do everything that you need to do for that particular topic. Or maybe I start doing a little bit more kind of planned out lectures where I have kind of like a uh, you know presentation that I will kind of be going through and and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for the YouTube channel. Now, the last thing that I do want to mention is the Patreon. And so I'm gonna be going through just kind of like all the different tiers of things that we have on there. Um, but this is just kind of the last part of the video. So if you don't wanna hear anything about the Patreon, feel free to go ahead and skip it. So like I mentioned at the beginning, everyone is gonna have access to the Hot Path Show live streams and any code that we're going to be showcasing in there. Of course, that is going to be available to anyone and everyone. And if there are any community events like competitions and game jams, that is going to be open to the public as well. However, I do just want to provide some cool bonuses for the people who do chose to support us on Patreon. And just know that, you know, no matter what you can give, every single dollar counts. And I really mean that because let me just give you a quick anecdote about how poor my YouTube ad rates are. So you'd actually be supporting me financially more by subscribing to the $1 tier of Patreon for just one month than if you're to watch ads on every single YouTube video I've ever posted. So just <laughs> so just know that that is you know how little money that I get from YouTube ad revenue. So any amount of support that you can give on Patreon is greatly appreciated. So that's why I wanted to give a ton of value even at the $1 tier, which I've called the RAM tier. So everyone at this tier is going to get access to the bonus videos that I post on Patreon. I'm gonna be starting with one a month for now, but maybe as things grow, I can do more. And like I mentioned at the top, the first bonus video is up right now. It's going to be the talk that I did at the Game Dev Guild conference from last year. Uh, the talk was on modular data-oriented design. It's a talk that I'm extremely proud of, and I think it does a really great job about showcasing you know, some of the column non-performance advantages of using data-oriented design. Now, starting in February and going forward, the Patreon-exclusive episodes are going to be new content, but I did just wanna have something available for the people who choose to support me right off the bat. So again, thank you very much for that. Also, all paying Patreons, you know, starting at the $1 tier and up, um, do want to give them the ability to influence some of the content that we create. You have voting rights on upcoming topics, so we could maybe you know choose to prioritize certain topics over others. Moving on to the next tier, which is the L2 cash tier. So this of course is going to have everything as part of the RAM tier, but it's also going to include a couple extra helpful and convenient bonuses. So one of them is going to be an audio only feed of the Hot Path Show. Now, while the Hot Path Show is meant to be a visual-based episode where we're going to you know, actually be showcasing code and project files and things like that, I do see some value in wanting to maybe re-listen to some previous episodes. So that's why actually through Patreon, you can get an RSS link, which you can just put in your podcast app of choice. Uh, you can also sync it with Spotify. So you know, basically after we go live with the Hot Path Show, then it, you can actually download the episode in podcast form so you can say re-listen to it while you're you know doing chores or going for a run or whatever. I'm also going to give you access to our internal show notes from the show so you can just kind of scroll through say a bunch of episodes and look at the document where we discussed all the topics covered so you can kind of you know maybe go back and say oh you know what episode was it where they talked about you know this one interesting thing that I might want to use in my game. 
Um, so that's just kind of, again, a helpful resource. Also, this tier is where you get access to the Patreon exclusive Discord channels. So next up is the L1 Cash tier. So this is for people who might want to be a little bit more closer to the Turbo Mace Games ecosystem. Now, of course, you still will get access to everything in the L2 Cash and the RAM tiers, but you'll also be getting access to a monthly Q&A where you can submit a question on pretty much anything, whether it's related to development or not. Um, and I'll answer that in a monthly in a monthly Q and A video. Also, I'm gonna be putting up once a month behind the scenes content where maybe I'll just kind of do just a fun little off the cuff video where I'm just kind of you know going into my development setup or kind of my process for uh, editing videos or talking about some you know interesting development tools that I have set up on my machine. So just to give you kind of, you know, a little bit of insight behind the curtain on kind of, you know, how I do things. Also at this tier, if you do submit any entries to any Turbo Mix games and game jams, I will play those during a live stream. And then the top tier, we have the CPU register tier. So you get everything in the L1 cache, the L2 cache, and the RAM tier. And as an added bonus for supporting us at the highest tier, I will read your names off at the end of each episode of the Hot Path Show. So anyways, I know that was a a lot of announcements and this video is probably a lot longer than I intended it to be but I do think that you guys are really going to enjoy the hot path show I'm very much looking forward to the first episode again a lot going live this Friday January 26th at 1 p.m. Pacific time thanks again to Danny and Tobias for coming on this new journey with me and of course thank you to all for watching and once again I am very grateful for any of you who do choose to support me on patreon so with that I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you very very soon